Okay, guys, interview time again. So, um, I'm in my car and I ran. Um, I came early so I could visit with a friend, and he is not here. So, what I decided to do is go to the library. And I really don't want to go in there right now. I want to just sit here in the car for a minute. But um, I was looking, and there's this car, and it looks so pitiful. It's right next to me. And their window, um, I guess, won't roll up all the way, I'm guessing. Um, and they have a towel over it with a duct tape. No, wait, it doesn't even look like duct tape. It's like um, packaging clear tape. And their back brake light is messed up and their wheels are all mitch matched and I just feel really bad for them because I mean even though with all the problems I have with my car at least I have heat and um well I'm sure they may have heat I don't know but at least all my windows go up and um so I'm and my yeah it looks like they've uh, gotten hit a few times or they may have hit things but I kind of feel bad for them because of the window. Hopefully they don't have any kids. I mean, not say that they can, that they don't need to have kids, but I mean that hopefully they don't have kids in the car so they, they won't be, you know, cold and everything. Um, so, yeah, I was looking at the car. It looks pitiful. Um, it, it actually, it looks like it's been like that for a while. So, yeah. Um, <sighs> but, um, gonna go in there in a few minutes but I just want to show you this pitiful looking car it looks sad I mean especially with all these other cars here and they look expensive and this car looks like yeah it doesn't look good at all it's pitiful and it makes me sad inside but um so yeah there it is it really doesn't look that bad and in all fairness but still that window I mean I, I, I have to feel them on that one because that's it being so cold out and that window be like that so sad but um I mean other than that I mean I guess you could I mean I've actually got a few I have a dent where somebody ran into me not too long ago maybe it was like two three months ago good grief I can't believe I've had this car that long. Um, I remember when I used to complain that I didn't have floor mats in this thing. And and that person doesn't even have their window rolling up all the way. It's really sad. Um, oh my gosh. Something's going on in that car. That person was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Freaking out. I don't, I'm not going to show you them. But, uh. Freaking out. I don't know what the problem is. Um, so, I was going to say something and then they threw me off. So now I have no idea what I was going uh, to say. But what I was going to say is I, I mean, the, thing, the things I used to complain about my car. I mean, I was, okay, there is a small little list of things that are wrong with this car. Some things that really need to be fixed. The oil leak really needs to be fixed. The brakes really need to get fixed. The, um, I would love, I have no idea what's wrong with them. Um, I would love to get, um, my shocks fixed on my car. So, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm, I'm, these people, I don't know that guy. Okay, something is going on in there. There are cops everywhere. I'm not going in there right now. I was just about to go in there and then cops showed up all over. There's like, there's one, one, two, three. Can you see that one? There's one over there. And they just drove up and, and they all just ran in there. Oh shit. I hear all kinds of sirens going off right now. I'm freaking out. Should I just leave? I don't. I don't know if I should leave. I'm guessing I should just stay here. Okay, guys, y'all are now just now watching the footage where um, um, the cops showed up and everything. Well, apparently, remember um, earlier when I was like, oh, those people are really excited. They're going, oh my god, oh my god. 
Um, apparently there was a kid that was unresponsive in the car, and, um, I had to call the ambulance to that car, um, and that's where they were heading. I freaked out because they started coming my direction, so I turned the camera off. I'm sorry, I... Horrible. But, um, so, they are... Hopefully the kid's okay. I don't know why they had to have four cop cars and two fire trucks. Um, but, yeah, the, I don't know, hopefully everything's okay, but that freaked me out. <sighs> but I'm about, I'm here at my destination of where I'm going to interview. Um, I'm very nervous. Um, I've got ten more minutes before I have to go in there. I just had to get away from there, because once the fire trucks and everything left, I was like, yes, I can get out of here. So, I left. Um, so, yeah, I'm here. Still kind of rattled uh, uh. so that freaked me out so now I don't even know if I can do this interview I think I kept thinking I'm in the right state of mind I can do this and now I'm like oh my god I can't do this now I can't do this now I cannot do this now that really freaked me out uh, uh, well I'm shaking um so I'll see you guys um later if I don't know have I ever showed y'all this actually I showed you the giant stuff. Like, here's the little one that Ashley made me. Um, oops. Yep, isn't it pretty? And, uh, here's my new cup holders. I'm still using this one. So I have three cup holders now. <sighs> I'm still, I'm still just shaking. I, I don't even, I don't even know what to do right now. But I've got ten minutes, um, or actually I've got nine, uh, nine minutes now. Counting down. Ooh, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting all kinds of messages because I put on my status on Facebook that I was at the library and four cop cars showed up. So, um, that's why my phone's going off because I had that thing where, uh, you know, you, you just know. I gotta go. Bye-bye.